G'day and welcome. Uh, one of my subscribers, Sudanshu, has asked me to it, demonstrate how to differentiate certain functions of this form. So if y equals some function to some other given function, what do we do? Let's choose an example. Let's imagine we have the cosine of theta to the power um, 10 theta. Let's, let's do a trig function to a power of a trig function. The derivative is always worked out in this way. This is a simple task. Remember that we have inverse functions. The inverse of adding is subtracting. The inverse of multiplying is dividing. The inverse of squaring is taking the square root. The inverse of taking the cube root is cubing. The inverse of finding a tangent is finding the inverse tangent. We have a variety of these inverse functions all designed to help us unravel equations and solve them. And exponential and logarithmic functions are inverse functions. So it means this, that if they undo each other, that I'll talk about cosine of theta, that the cosine of theta is equal to e to the log of the cosine of theta. That exponential undoes the logarithm, if you like, the, the inverse functions. Those two expressions are the same. And that's the, clue, the key that allows us to uh, solve this. We would replace this with e to the log of cos theta. And of course, this will be the power tan theta. But we have a simplifying step here. And that is that when we have a power of a power of something, that the two powers or the two indices are multiplied. That makes life a little bit easier. So we have e to the logarithm of cos theta times tan theta. So we have an exponential with a product in the index position, in the exponent. Now we can find the derivative. What's the derivative of e to anything? The answer is it's itself. So we first write this. times, and then we have to multiply by, because it's a chain, the derivative of what's inside. Now you notice we have a product, so I'm going to prepare for a product, and I'm going to find the derivative of this multiplied by that, and then I'm going in the second part to leave this alone and have the derivative of this times this. So I'm going to set it up first. We're going to put the derivative of this times tan theta. And then for our second term, we're going to leave this alone, the logarithm of cos theta, and multiply by the derivative of tan theta. Now, the derivative of tan theta is easy, 6 squared theta. The derivative of this that goes here is difficult because it's a chain. How do we deal with the chain? The derivative of logarithm is 1 over whatever is inside. Then we multiply by the derivative of whatever is inside, negative sine theta. This is quite a complicated looking piece of work. Now remember that this, the exponential to the logarithm of cos theta, is equal to cos theta because this expression is the same as that. We can just change this back to cos theta to the power tan theta and we have in the product here sine over cos will be tan times tan will be tan squared theta with that negative sign out the front plus sec squared theta log of cos theta. So let's put log cos theta. Sec squared theta is 1 on cosine squared. Actually, I'll 
I'll do it this way. I can see where we're going with this. What I was looking at is that tan theta is sine over cosine, and that's 1 over cosine. So I'm going to take that out, the cosines out, or the secant squared out as a common factor. So I'm going to get cos theta to the power tan theta times sec squared theta times whatever's left in here. Now because this was positive, I'm going to put it first, log of cos theta minus what I get after having removed the secant squared, and that'll be sine squared theta. And that's about as tidy as we make it. But that's an example of how to differentiate a function to the power of some other function. I think we'll do one more at least. Uh, I hope this is answering your questions, Sadanshu. If it doesn't, please let me know in the comments below. But I'll do at least one more example and maybe a third one. You can always bail out as long as you understand what's going on. Let's have a look. Well, let's make up another one. Y equals... Uh, let's try logarithm of x squared to the power sine 2x. That looks pretty difficult or intractable. Now you might well say we have a logarithm, how do we handle that? It's still the same process. We have e to the logarithm, they undo each other, of the logarithm of x squared to the power sine 2x. I would normally leave this step out, by the way. Notice they're the uh, inverse functions. So that's the same as just having log of x squared to the sine 2x. Of course, the power of a power, the indices are multiplied. So I would normally just go straight to this step. And then we would carry out the derivative, because I do know how to find the derivative of an exponential. The derivative of an exponential is itself Then we multiply by the derivative of this product up here. Well, we're getting ready for it. It's the derivative of this times that, so I'll leave the sine 2x alone here. We've got a little bit of work to do there. And then we leave this alone, so I'm going to write log. Oops, I'm going to have to rewrite that. Logarithm of the logarithm of x squared times the derivative of that. So I'm ready to put my two derivatives in place. I'll do this one first because it's simpler. The derivative of sine is cosine, and then the derivative of 2x is 2, so it's times 2. The derivative of this we have a function of a function of a function. The derivative, so we have a chain. The derivative of the logarithm is 1 over whatever is inside log x squared, that's dealt with that. Multiplied by the derivative of what's inside. Now the derivative of logarithm is 1 over whatever is inside. Then we multiply by the derivative of the, two, of the x squared, which is 2x. So we have this rather difficult expression. I have chosen some quite nasty examples. Now this, I can rewrite back as the original expression which is a little bit tidier. We don't need it to be arranged like that now. The exponential, being the inverse function of logarithm, undoes it. What do we get here? I'm looking for common factors. Well, this x will multiply one of, will divide one of those x's out. We have a 2 in common, so I'm going to put that out the front. Uh, 
there's really not much else is there that we can remove so let's just write this out we're going to have I might even put the X take the X out which means there'll be an X appear up here I might even take the log X squared let's do that that means there'll be no fractions in this part so if we've taken the log X squared out that's gone the 2 has gone so we're just left with sine 2x and the 2 is now gone but the x log x squared will appear in this term as well so we'll have x log of x squared times log of log of x squared times cos of 2x quite horrific actually but that is how you would tame the beast that's how you would differentiate a function to the power of another function I just thought of a very simple example it's often asked in school tests to see if students are aware of what's going on and I'll do that next right here's the simple example that's often given in tests differentiate y equals x to the power x I think I might have even given that myself in a test how do we do it? well the first thing is we would replace this x with e to the log x and that would be to the power x but since the indices are multiplied it would just be x log x so those expressions are equivalent and now I can do the derivative or find the derivative the derivative of the exponential is itself times the derivative of the function inside the x log x which again is a product so let's do the product it'll be the derivative of x times the log x plus leaving the x alone multiplied by the derivative of log x which is 1 over x this of course is the same as x to the x and this is simply log x plus 1 it's only a few lines of work but you have to know what to do but the trick is always when you have a function to the power of another function is to change this function using your inverse functions exponentials and logarithms into an exponential uh, I haven't used function notation to do this I'm not sure whether that's what you expected Sudanshu but I hope this has answered your question and that it makes good sense to you if that's helped then please do click the like button and leave your comment and I would appreciate it if you subscribed if you're not already a subscriber thank you for watching